No, like almost all my favorite nights I've had in my life have been spending no money. All right, welcome back to our, I don't know what sixth. episode we're on, sixth, sixth episode. All right, we, we, we've been cranking these out. Yeah, we have. <laughs> I'm impressed by you and me. I've, I've gotten a lot of hater comments. So. Yeah, they're really just trying to shut us down, <laughs> yeah. you know? They don't believe in us. Yeah, so um, take that. No, just kidding. <laughs> we, still got all, we still got a lot to prove, so. Yeah. Um, today... We have our special guest, Christian Christensen. Hello, everybody. Christian, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yes. Do I talk a little bit about me? Yeah, yeah. Just, yes. just say whatever you Okay, my doing. name is Christian Christensen. Yes, that was my given name, and no, my parents don't hate me. Um, <laughs> uh, I cool. love um, music, partying, living life to the fullest. Um, I'm a, uh, not, the, not the craziest kid, but like I don't know. I like to have fun when I'm in the right mood. I don't know. What else should I say about myself? Play basketball. Used to run cross country with Clint. Then I quit to <laughs> do more music. So all right. All right. On. Would you like a bev today? I would love a bev today. What would you like? Maybe some like Reese's pieces with some milk. Okay. Okay. Or, sorry, puffs. 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 Oh, puffs. puffs. Not pieces. Yeah, I got. I got puffs. <laughs> that would be weird. Mm. Oh, that looks good. Mm. Yeah, I got kind of awesome. <clears throat> Yeah, now I'm kind of hungry. Oh, oh, don't forget the milk. Oh. yeah. <laughs> I feel, I feel like that beautiful. looked a lot more satisfying than it sounded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, if you're wa- if you're listening on Spotify, go to the YouTube so you can watch that. That was nice. Be sure to <laughs> subscribe, leave a like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he's gonna drink that. Make sure you crunch right into the microphone. <laughs> you want a puff? <laughs> you want a puff? Here's some puffs. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. All right. Um, just All before right. we start, real quick, I'd like to um, take a moment to remember Kobe Bryant, who, um, I don't know when this will go up, but he just passed away yesterday um, at the time we're filming this. And um, just to kind of talk about him real quick, um, I was never the biggest fan of his play style or anything, but what I did re- highly respect was his work ethic and his um, willingness to accept the grind, really, and to train his mamba mentality, you know, um, I think that's what he'll be known for, is that mentality, you know, he, he refused to lose in those clutch moments, so, uh, thanks to him for being an example to me, and, uh, hope he, uh, rests in peace. To Kobe. <laughs> to Kobe. To Kobe. <laughs> All right, um, so, <laughs> With Christian, we kind of wanted to talk to you about a couple things. Um, can't remember the first one. Music. 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 Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the big one for me. Okay. Uh, what do you want to know first? There's well, like... so <laughs> for me, um, I think this question is asked to musical artists all the time, but it changes. So what I want to know is like, what's your inspiration behind it? Behind songwriting? Yeah, behind, behind uh, writing. So my songwriting process, it's different for every artist. Every artist will tell you that. For me, I never plan to write a song. Songs just honestly like come, and a lot, a lot of people will agree with this too. It's like you kind of like sit down and you just start like messing around. Like a lot of times I'll have a music idea, like a chord progression or like a beat or something like that. And then I'll just start writing lyrics, not with any direction, just and just feel what comes natural because if you try to force lyrics onto the song it's just not going to work so as far as lyrics go that's kind of how it goes and music music honestly works the same way it's just I like I just kind of feel like it sit down just start messing around and that's how I've written all my best songs yeah so you can't really set like a deadline for yourself and be like Mm -hmm. okay let's do it like by today I want to do this sort of thing yeah and I get that as well with like making videos like sometimes the inspiration is just not hitting you at all and there's just as I say my flow Joe isn't there you know (laughs) yeah because just doesn't flow so what yeah kind of along with that what what are some challenges that you have writing music uh challenges um uh honestly anxiety about just like how my music will be received I have a lot of like worries about like people thinking my music is just like cheesy or it's like nothing special or just like or maybe I'm not the best singer or like the production isn't there Mm -hmm. because like the more you care about something you know the more you worry about it and the more you want to be really good like if I didn't care if I was just doing music just like for fun as a a silly little thing um like I wouldn't care like about like every little detail but yeah that's probably like the the hardest thing is just worrying so much about it oh totally like the more time and importance you put on anything the more you're going to stress over and care about it Mm -hmm. that's why 
this podcast, thanks to it being really easy and simple, I don't care too much when people <laughs> when, critique when it. they bash on it, yeah. Yeah, because, like, it's, really it's not a big deal. But, like, yeah. things like that it's that like you put so much easy. time into, yeah. like, it's become, like, it's a part of yeah. you, basically. Yeah. You know? And because right. as a kid, I did get, like, I mean, I don't, like, I genuinely don't get, like, really much hate anymore at all. But, like, as a kid, I got a lot of crap because I wasn't a good singer. But I loved singing, so I sang a lot. Mm-hmm. My sister used to yell at me to stop singing because I was just <laughs> not good. I was that. I was so there were, there awesome. were a couple, won't get into those stories, but yeah. But I was just like, you know, one, I don't care that much, and two, I want to get to the point where, like, people can't make fun of me, you know? Like, I'm, like, to the point, I mean, people still will, but, like, I'll be sure enough in, like, my own skill that, like, I, it won't mm, matter. Confidence know? level. No, yeah, that's really yeah. cool to hear. So yeah. what would you say is the most rewarding part? The most rewarding part, um, yeah. oh, it's the little things. Like when you hear like, like one of your like, like this mom comes to you and she's like, oh my gosh, my daughter, she knows every single word to your song, oh, or really? like when you're at a That's concert awesome. and then like everyone just starts singing your song and you don't even know how they like know it or but they're just like <laughs> singing every word. I think those moments are the most rewarding. Yeah. So check them out on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you get your music, right? Yeah, Christian uh, Christensen. Yeah. Single out now. Yeah, <laughs> single out now. EP coming soon. All right, that's awesome. I'm really stoked for the EP. Yeah, yeah me too. too. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> um, so kind of transitioning here, um, we wanted to talk about, uh, where, where are we going to go to childhood next? Yeah, so childhood. Yeah, okay, so one thing that Christian and I have in common, and also Tanner, yes, is... Uh, we love the show Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> always have, always will. Yeah. Um, but what are some other TV shows that you grew up watching that you like? Um, I grew up watching Drake and Josh. Oh, yes. Drake and Josh. That one was super fun. Uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. That was a classic. Mm-hmm. And hate to admit it, but uh, Hannah Montana. <laughs> I've, I'm the, I have two older sisters right above me. We uh, watched okay. a lot of Hannah Montana. Okay. Okay. So it wasn't like necessarily all by choice. It wasn't. No, it was like mm-hmm. almost never by choice. <laughs> they they well, were older, so they got remote. Yep, exactly. <laughs> what about you, Tanner? Um, pretty similar. A couple ones that like are less known that I really liked were Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. I don't know if anyone really watched that, but if you did, shout out. Um, then, I don't know. There wasn't a whole lot of others besides the most obvious of all, which is Avatar The Last yeah, Airbender. Avatar, yeah. Mm-hmm. Best Wait, did you watch that? TV show no, ever. I never really? watched Avatar growing up, and I'm so uh, sorry okay. I didn't. I, yeah, I'm, I, I feel bad for those who haven't, who didn't watch it as a child, because if you watch it again as a, a teenager, like, I still like watching it, but oh, it's same. because of my childhood. I feel like some people just can't receive it as well, because they see it in the wrong lens, you mm, know? That is also and true. And, like, because yeah. there's a lot of goofiness in it. That some people might like might get annoyed by, but if you kind of like set the goofiness aside and watch it as if you were a kid and that like wouldn't bug you, there's yeah. so much. And the storyline is great too. Un- and the redemption arc of. Oh Zinka, my so, gosh, yeah. we could go off for at least oh, yeah. five episodes, <laughs> but we won't. Should have yeah. an Avatar episode. Uh, we episode. will have an Avatar episode. I <laughs> yeah. can guarantee that. Um, for me, growing up, I actually didn't watch very many like live action Disney Channel shows. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if this is sexist or not, but like this does not help me on dates because I asked like one of my go-to questions is like, what TV shows do you watch? You know what I mean? And they're always like Hannah Montana, Drake and Josh, Sweet Life. You know what I mean? I never watched any of those. Those were so bad. I, I could never like stand the fake no, laugh. I love Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh I think is they're, so no, I think they're so funny. But like if you watch. Any of like the new Disney Channel shows now, they're oh horrible, so really? bad, so uh, bad. The writing, <laughs> the writing is horrendous. And yeah, like Sweet yeah. Life, Sweet Life is like pretty bad, honestly, with the writing. But it was entertaining, you know, and it's kind of yeah, classic. It's just silly. But it gets oh oh yeah, so cringe sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, so bouncing right back to the one we all have in common, Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb. So, the thing that made that so special for me. Is that I can watch it now and take almost more joy because they have so many like adult jokes in it. You know yeah, what I mean? Do. Yeah. What? Like like they they break the fourth wall all the time. And when you were a kid, you never noticed that. And and uh, now right. like I'm rewatching it and I, I just noticed these little references. Yeah. I think it's hilarious. And they're actually like, clever. Like the two writers that wrote that short, like super oh, yeah. funny. They're hilarious movie. guys. What made it special for you? I mean. 
Like, I, from every sort of media that I intake, I try to, like, take something from it, you know? I usually try not to watch things passively. Mm -hmm. Though, of course, we all do that every once in a while where we, like, hop on our phone <coughs> while we're watching something, and it all comes in pretty passively. But, like, a lot of shows, like, Phineas and Ferb, like, I would watch that, and I would feel, like, pretty good after watching it, because I would be like, okay, maybe I, like, want to go do something. Not that I was going to do anything as crazy as them, yeah. but it led to, like, a mentality that I really liked. And I hate TV shows where the mentality <laughs> is just so either lazy or just like garbage like there were some mm. tv shows i watched where everyone was just getting screwed over and like dying and going to prison <laughs> and just making horrible decisions i'm like wow this sucks yeah but like a tv show that like it's we're all making smart. good decisions yeah you're like i can just go do something a little bit more you know mm -hmm. uh, also the song that i love oh the song yeah <laughs> you know, um well, they have a song in, like every episode oh yeah no so oh, yeah sick. and they're good songs yeah. you know they're not just lazy lazily wrote songs uh, exactly. So what, what about Phineas for what was so special for you? For uh, sure? Kind of the same deal. I actually have like several instances as a child, like watching the show and then going in my backyard and just like just building something. You're like going crazy. You're like <laughs> that tree house. Yeah. Building yeah. a tree house or like a rope scores or like, I just built so many random little things. I also just love building, but like, because Phineas and Phil, I'm like this, these are the kids I want to be. And I kind of like related to them. Like, Let's go. Like, we yeah. both build stuff. Yeah. His, yeah. His mm. Gmail was Christian for Legos or something yeah, like that. Yeah, <laughs> I love Legos. As I mean, who didn't love Legos? Yeah. If you weren't created and awesome. didn't it's love so many fun. Legos. Um, so, kind of as the deeper message of Phineas and Ferb that we wanted to dive into a little bit further um, is living life to the fullest. You yes. know? I can't tell you how many times they repeat Carpe Diem. Oh, in that one episode? Yeah. yeah. I still love yeah. it. I oh, love yeah. the songs in that one, actually, a yeah. lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's great. Um, but uh, that's one thing that I know that Christian has always lived to is uh, being able to live life to the fullest. You yeah. want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, yeah. So, like, it was about, like, November of junior year. It was about the time I met Will Hatterley as well. And we got together. <laughs> we, we both were, like... I mean, I've always kind of done this, but I've always, like, wanted to, like, just do as much as possible and especially experience as much as I can. Like, what I, what I do doesn't necessarily have to be, like, insane, but I, like, I love new experiences. I don't like routine. I like change, and I love, like... And, but I do like doing crazy things and having six stories to tell because like when you meet new people and they're like, so like, what have you done fun over the summer? They're like, you can be like, oh, I went to the pool with the friends, or, or with my friends. Or you can be like, oh, we took a trip down to the sand dunes. <laughs> and like and Lit a giant pole on fire. <laughs> pole on fire. <laughs> stayed up till 3 a.m. And like, yeah. or there's those people who like, all they have to say is like the places that their parents bought for them to go to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where a lot of the places that we've gone were just random places that we found yeah. in like a 25 mile like, radius. For free. Like, for free. For free. Yeah. And oh, yeah. I love free. I love I don't, free fun. I don't love Bernie though. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. But I love free fun. No, like almost <laughs> all my favorite Bernie nights Sanders. I've had in my <laughs> life, I've been spending no money. Like going oh, totally. to abandoned places, going crashing random parties and meeting people. Another like, yeah, another yeah. thing is like they're unplanned too. Yeah, you know? no, totally. They're, they're free. Yeah, and unplanned. you have to you have to plan just Mike. a little bit to get it going, but then just go. But the fun is in the spontaneous. The Christian, yeah. Yeah. I know what we're gonna do today. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Totally, no, it's totally like that. Like it, it really is. And every time we would try and plan it out, though, it would never work. Like, okay, this weekend we're gonna go up to this like abandoned place. We're gonna do this, this, and this, and it usually wouldn't work out. It totally. Yeah. Just be like, hey, I heard about this place. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's but so true. some of the coolest places we've been, I would have to say, were. Wait, the, where's Perry? Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> <but, you know. laughs> Alright, no, no. The go. best one, that, like my favorite ones, the abandoned rec center was oh, one of the so coolest cool. places that we were. And it was. Yeah, it's in Murray. I'll send you the address if you want it. <laughs> um, it's definitely probably like closed off now or yeah, something. Yeah, maybe. Knows? I don't know. But it was just like. There's something so much more fun about being in a place that you, like, genuinely don't know, like, how safe yeah. it is, you yeah. know? Yeah. Scary. And, like, and, like, it's also really scary, and it's so much more, like, intriguing than going through something that's, like, kind of structured, you know? Mm. Like like a normal haunted house. Like a exactly. House. Normal haunted yeah. house. Like, we would freak out here. They're obviously, And like, that costs 30 bucks. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. And it's just a bunch of, like, teenagers screaming at you over and over, mm -hmm. like, okay, mm -hmm. okay. But in this place, like... There's the unknown, and the unknown is so scary. So scary. Yeah. I mean, there's like, there's never been anything ever Not at yet. all. <laughs> I mean, like, there's like some trash around there. There's yeah. a lot of graffiti. Yeah. And that's about yeah. it. No injuries. Yeah. 
No injuries. Hopefully. I think there was like one person got like a little cut on their leg yeah. or something like that, and we're like, <gasps> and everyone freaked out. No, it's it's so fun because it's like adventurous, spontaneous, a little bit scary, thrilling, and it's unique too. Because like, yeah. there's free. One of the things that I know that we hated the most about it was like so many things that people would do that they would say is Sandy, but they would just do it so they could say it sort of thing. Yeah. Like, Let's go yeah. jump in this lake at night. Let's go bridge jumping, guys. Let's go jump in Tibble. Like, yeah. it's almost like they're just saying it because it's the only thing they've heard of people doing, uh-huh. you know? Yeah. Like, they weren't creative or original enough to go find well, something new. One thing it can still be fun, of course. But. One thing that I liked was uh, bargain ball sledding. Because mm-hmm. we went to that area, like, I never heard of it, you know, mm-hmm. like, right beyond the lake. Yeah. And it was the coolest thing ever. It I'm was, yeah. like, definitely going back up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We should yeah. go this Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm down. Yeah. Um, and, and it was, it was the weather was perfect, too. Also, yeah. that helped. But, um, you know, the snow, like, it would have barely been touched. And the hill was just awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's kind of fun because you have to plan a little bit, like, let's just go to Tibble, but then once you get there, you can just do whatever you want, and mm-hmm. that's where the spontaneous comes yeah. in, like, mm-hmm. let's all do a train, and, like, go off this jump, and, like, things Exactly, like but, yeah. like, uh, it has to come with a mindset, of course, of, like, mm-hmm. being willing to try things. Oh, yeah. And totally. do yeah. all sorts of different things like I that. I also think that being with the right people is an important part, because, totally. you know, the drive up to Tibble is pretty long. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and it can so, drag on if you're with the wrong people. Exactly. But it yeah. felt so quick with us, and it was, like, really fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone there. Mm-hmm. Other thing I like about Christian that I think is an underrated part of of uh, a lot of people is that he didn't blast music the entire time. He blasted it when we wanted it to be blasted. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like, I, I, maybe this is just me, my pet peeve, but like I get in someone's car and they like are super hyped and they blast the song and then they just blast it the entire ride. And and just like just I for the sake even, of blasting. Yeah, I can't even have a conversation. It bugs me so much. Yeah, and like I've noticed, like when I'm driving by myself now, like I used to like crank my tunes quite a bit, but I've gone to a point where I turn them off completely so I can just think to mm. myself, you know. Yeah. And that's that's the one thing I also kind of like to do too when I'm with someone. And we're not talking. I like to turn off the music completely. So it's just completely silent every once in a while. And just be like mm-hmm. waiting for something to happen. Or just to be okay with the silence. Because there's not yeah. something wrong with it just being oh, yeah. quiet, you know? And there's definitely yeah. people that it's great to be silent around. Well, not great, but like it's it's fine. Yeah, you know? it's fine. And you're like comfortable yeah. with them. Yeah. You don't okay. need to fill the awkward silence yeah, with music exactly. like a lot of people do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going back to this, like, this kind of this kind of comes full circle to this mindset of like, to be super creative like this and do these crazy things, you also need to have like open mind and be bored yeah. a lot. Mm-hmm. If you're constantly filling in your time with like passive things like TV shows that like really don't like inspire you to do anything, you're not gonna mm-hmm. do that much and you're just gonna constantly fill your mind yeah. with like just some numbing stimulus. Shout out to Ray Bradbury, Fahrenheit 451. <laughs> yeah. No, this is what my brother said when I was young and I'll never forget it. He said like, if you're bored all the time, sorry, but it means you're a boring person. And I'm like, mm. oh, and I'm like, I was so offended because I'm like, I get bored sometimes. I mean, like everyone knows you can't stop that. But like, it's like what you do when you're bored. Do you like get out of that? Or do you just like, well, this sucks. I'll just go watch Netflix for 15 hours. Like, exactly. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. so much to do in the world. So many experiences that so many people miss out on just because they don't have that, that small drive inside. Because it doesn't take that much. No, it really doesn't. Just drive like 20 minutes to somewhere sick. But like that can like change your whole week. You totally. Know? Yeah. And be something completely new that like, that was one of the funnest things about, like, my childhood is I had some friends who pulled me out of that quite a bit and, like, let's go build a catapult. Let's yeah. go walk barefoot up to the canyon. Let's go do all this so and this. Much fun. And it, like, it helped out with just my whole mindset growing up so much. Yeah. Okay, so I have an interesting question about that, and I'm interested to see you guys' opinion. Okay. Um, I, but I don't really know how to phrase it, but I'll do my best. So mm-hmm. professional athletes, um, they devote like every second of the time to their craft you know Mm -hmm. what i mean Mm -hmm. and you always hear about this you know there's only 24 hours a day how are you going to spend it um so what do you think is the balance between having a good time and and doing those adventures and and also dedicating time to your craft uh honestly for me i'm a very disorganized person so i i never really think about what i'm going to do during the day I i have like the things i have to do but other than that, it's kind of whatever I feel like in the moment. Like, am I going to go work on homework for a little bit or work on music? I mean, those are usually the only two things I do. But, like, <laughs> yeah, like, um, I don't if, if you have something you're really passionate about and you're really going for, like, I think you'll find, like, you'll make the time and effort, like, towards that thing and, like, make sacrifices in other places. 
but I don't know, for me, I'm just super disorganized, so yeah, I don't, it just depends on the day. Something with that though, for me, it's like whenever I feel the drive towards something, I find that it's best for me to do that at that time. Mm -hmm. At mm -hmm. other moments, like with homework, there's things that you just have to do. So you kind of mm -hmm. have to sit down and get to work on them. Same with like working out or doing things like that. Like you just have to do it, but it's always better when you have the motivation to do it. For instance, the other day I left my SD card at the school and I finally like got an idea for this video and I had all the footage on that SD card and the basic of the project. <laughs> so I went back to the school, found the janitor, got the room unlocked and then got the card and I came home and I finished that video in that day mm, because I had okay. all the ideas yeah. and I'm like, I didn't want to wait yeah. to get it done. Mm. And I think that's something that like Christian definitely has too is like when he has an idea in mind, he just goes and gets it done. Yeah. And I'm like, that'll happen eventually. Yeah. Really? The problem yeah. is it doesn't last very long usually. That's true. It's really, <laughs> it's, it's really hard to like capture it and like yeah. kind of be able to like help it carry you throughout mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's, <clears throat> that's kind of interesting that you guys think that because for me, I'm a very routine oriented person. Mm -hmm. And so I try to schedule my days. Um, like I, I try to like, as I go to bed, have a vision of what my day is going to look like. And I try, like, like you said, to, you know, to live the life to its fullest. And I try to plan, have everything planned. So I, I guess that's kind of different for me is like, I, I always want to be doing something, mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily about how I feel. It's always about um, the routine. You're you more know? of a planner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if there's a right or wrong way. No, I think yeah. it's whatever works for you. For me, I just try to stay <clears throat> like in the mindset of having an open mind, being open to you know, okay. possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. I think sometimes like being more routine has its benefits, of course, because sometimes I totally space mm -hmm. homework assignments because yeah. I'm not as mm -hmm. organized as I used to be. Yeah. And I'll try to organize everything, but it doesn't necessarily help, but at least it's in my head and I kind of know what I'm going for. So that's kind of my balance. I don't yeah. know. I'm making it work, so I go with <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, well, we're kind of running low on time here. So um, do you move to the question? The question, yes. Question. Are we, are we going to wrap up that little living life to the fullest segment? I feel like I could go off about that for like so long. Yeah, though. okay. <laughs> there was, what, what were we saying right before it about Instagram, though? And about how like you oh a lot of people do things just oh, to yeah. to tell people they've done them yeah like I said about Tibble and also like you said you don't need to be famous and have recognition to be living a good life mm. oh you know? yeah not at all. Oh, and yeah. like sometimes yeah. it is really hard though because you want to be recognized and like be like reaffirmed yeah. that what you're doing is, is good and right, right. Yeah. yeah but sometimes you really just gotta find that in yourself and be okay with it and be like this is what I love this is what yeah. I like and this is what I'm gonna keep going for. Yeah, no? like, no, like, I've done things before and, like, made videos, like, about me doing crazy fun things, and I didn't enjoy them that much because I was just focusing on, like, presentation, all that stuff. Now, I just take short little videos to capture the moment just for me or when I tell, like, someone I'm close to that story. Like, I don't post it anywhere. Like, it's just, like, for me to remember that moment. Totally. And, like, that's the hardest thing. I think about people Sorry. who make their summer videos or different, like, or yeah. trip videos. I'm, like, I hate the balance of that. Mm. Like I made a video when I went to Iceland, but it was a really un aesthetic one. <laughs> so it was kind of just fun. So I was like more in the moment when I was filming rather than trying to capture something, you know? Yeah. And I feel like, like it would suck trying to just go on a trip and all you're trying to do is make a video of the trip. Yeah. The you said yeah. you hate the balance, not the summer videos, right? Oh, well, I, it's really hard to balance. Yeah. The summer videos sometimes, like sometimes it can be worth it. Yeah. And then if you find the right balance, mm -hmm. and it can be really cool, but I haven't found that. Balance. One thing I absolutely hate, like I, no offense to anyone who's done this, I don't hate you, but I, <laughs> uh, one thing I just do not like is when um, the they like they're in line to high five this like famous athlete and they're just on their phone. You know what I mean? Like they're just like ready to record it. You know, I ready feel to like, record them shaking their hands. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I just want to like high five him and like know that I high fived him and like be in the moment when I do that and not just like look back at my uh, video of my hand. You this know, is, <laughs> this is one big thing that like I've realized like so much. And I bet a lot of people can relate is that like you have these really big moments and especially take concerts for instance. Mm -hmm. Say you're at a concert and you like some people film concerts way too much, you yeah. know? Oh yeah, that's and, all they do. Exactly. And, and I hate one thing that really <laughs> sucks about like if you film a moment, you know, and you go back and you keep rewatching it, soon you lose the rest of your memory of that and your only your, memory your, is yeah, that video. Is that crappy video. Exactly. <laughs> the video is never gonna be the same as the real experience. That's mm -hmm. why I am an avid 
journal writer, I write so much. I try to cover every single detail because then I'll really remember just, the memory. Yeah, yeah, I'll remember the memory so much better yeah. than just the video. So in the balance I found with that, like I said, like five second, literally like five seconds long. So I live in the moment for like the hour, two hours, what it is, and I'll have five seconds of that where I can go back and be like, oh, that was so sick. But then the rest of it's just in my memory, you know? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because and I think like. There is a balance because it, sometimes the video, you know, is is a great thing too. Totally. Yeah. If like your friend's about to go do something like really stupid, and you just like <laughs> yeah. you have to oh, film yeah. it oh, sometimes, yeah. like <laughs> you have to, like yeah, yeah. But sometimes it's just better to live in the moment. Yeah, oh, totally. totally. Um, all right, we're we're like out of time here. So. That was really good. Though. I, I I need to put that in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So That's here's here's the question we wanted to ask you. Do Pokemon? <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, from the anime. Do they say their name because that's what they've been called for thousands of years? Or do did the humans start calling them their name because that's what they said? Hmm. <laughs> Good execution on that. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a very, very thought-provoking question. <laughs> um, I think it's because of what, like, I think that's because it's the Pokemons that have been say saying it. Because, like, otherwise, I don't think they'd say it so enthusiastically. They'd be like, hi, I'm Squirtle. Not yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. yelling their name. I, uh, I also just think it's a dumb part of the show. Like, why? I know. Like, it's like, it's it's like <laughs> let's just make them. Well, what else would they do? It's either we can make them talk, we can make them grunt, or we can have them say their own names. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I feel like grunting like an animal is, like, more realistic. No, I figured it out. It's just a marketing scheme. Because that way, if they say their names so much more, people will know the names, they'll know uh, the characters better, and it'll spread so much easier. Like, what's the one with the turtle, like, thing on its back or something like squirtle? that? Yeah. But, like, they won't have to be calling, like, the, the, the turtle back one, they won't have to call it out to say oh, squirtle. And everyone's like, saying. oh, I know what it is. Oh, but Pikachu, okay. not like, what's the yellow fuzzy rabbit electric one? <laughs> yeah, because like it says, you know? Pika. That, that Pika. Is, that's Everyone probably part Pika. of it, honestly. Yeah. That's very true. So everyone actually knows their names. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that is talk. probably true. Because then you'd have to name all so these So neither is ones. the answer. Yep. It's the humans. You heard it here first. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. But a good uh, one. Yeah, right, right on. Right on. Thanks right for on. being on. It's not for you. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Don't watch that on the YouTube video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Okay, <laughs> we're done. Bye.